Hi there, my name's Isabel and I'm a People Specialist at Employment Hero. This is the Hero Memo. It's Tuesday, 10th of August. To Melbourne business owners who've found themselves back in lockdown, we're thinking of you. On the 6th of August, the Victorian government announced a new business support package worth $400 million. The program is made of four different schemes. The Business Cost Assistance Program has been extended to round three, with recipients of round two receiving an additional grant of $2,800. These grants will be automatically paid to recipients of round two grants, so no further action is required. If you've recently become eligible for the grant, you can apply under the round two extension until Friday the 13th of August. Hospitality businesses that received funding support from the Licensed Hospitality Fund through the May, June and July lockdowns will also receive automatic payments, graded by venue capacity. The Alpine industry will also see relief under the Alpine Resorts Winter Support Program. Finally, the government is adding $54 million to the Small Business COVID Hardship Fund. The fund offers grants of up to $8,000 to small businesses that have experienced at least a 70% reduction in turnover. This will be paid to businesses that are not eligible for other support. You can learn more and check your eligibility for these programs at business.vic.gov.au. Now for some good news. According to the University of Melbourne's Vaccine Hesitancy Report Card, vaccine hesitancy has dropped from 33% to 21.5% in New South Wales and Victoria since the end of May. High vaccination rates are the key to emerging from ongoing lockdowns, and it's great to see that people who are initially reluctant to get the jab are open to changing their minds. Having productive conversations can help people change their thinking, and those conversations might happen in the workplace. So what's the best way to chat to vaccine-hesitant employees? First, let's quickly cover your obligations. The COVID-19 vaccine is voluntary in Australia for all people, apart from those who work in residential aged care facilities or in airport and quarantine services. For people working in other industries, vaccinations are not mandatory. Even though we may want our employees to be vaccinated, it's important to be conscious of workplace relations, anti-discrimination and privacy laws. If you're unsure what to do if a worker is not vaccinated, talk to your WHS regulator, the Fair Work Ombudsman, or an employment law expert. There are many reasons why an individual might be resistant to the vaccine. Some of the key reasons we're seeing are a spread of misinformation about COVID-19 vaccinations and lockdowns online, fear and anxiety around the effects of the vaccine, and difficulty in accessing the vaccine, like making a booking, finding transport to a vaccination location, or finding an appointment outside of work hours. So how can we approach these conversations as leaders? Well, first, start with empathy. Making somebody feel like an outsider won't motivate them to change their mind. It's actually more likely to make them feel defensive. Take the time to listen to what they have to say. This doesn't only build trust with the person, it also allows you to think of a considered response. Once the person has expressed their thoughts, we can begin to ease their concerns. Come prepared with facts and statistics from verified bodies like the Australian Department of Health and the World Health Organization. Outside of conversations, lead by example. Get vaccinated and be open about why it is important to you. You might share a photo of yourself after getting your vaccination along with a sentiment like, we know that the virus spreads easily in households. Getting vaccinated helps me protect myself and my loved ones. Finally, make it as easy as possible for your staff to get the vaccine. Forcing annual leave or demanding overtime when they leave work to get vaccinated can feel like a punishment. Make it clear to your team that they're free to have a morning or afternoon off work for this essential reason. If you'd like more information, read our blog on the subject on our COVID-19 resource hub at employmenthero.com slash COVID-19. Until next time, we wish you and your business all the best. And now to finish with a disclaimer. The information in this voice memo is relevant as at the 10th of August 2021 and has been prepared by Employment Hero PTY LTD. The views expressed are general information only and are provided in good faith to assist employers and their employees. While due care has been taken in preparing the memo, no responsibility is accepted by Employment Hero for the accuracy or suitability of the information contained. All liability is expressly disclaimed for any loss or damage which may arise from any person relying on, using or acting on any information contained therein.